Hey everybody, I apologize, I got a little bit of a cold. It's um, 16 minutes after midnight, which basically makes it now Saturday, Memorial Day weekend. But I thought I'd talk about something. I know, um, I know that a lot of people are not too happy about <laughs> what's going on right now in the WWE. More specifically with the main storyline, or at least one of the main storylines. That being, of course, John Cena. And his situation with John Laurinaitis, and now the big show. Um, many reports have been going around that the reason big show was put into this, one of the reports anyway, from what I understand, is because they felt, WWE felt, that Tenzai wasn't ready yet. Um... Okay, that might be true. Um, but another reason as well is due to the fact that I think I think honestly due to the fact it's you know it's not just excuse me it's not just the fact that they felt you know Tensai wasn't ready yet. And I know a lot of people will say, well, it's because they lost all the star power. It's not because of that either. It, well, it might be partially about that, but there's a reason for it. You see, the reason is real simple. As much as we hate to admit it, no matter what, no matter how, how much we want to admit it or not, um, Big Show and Cena's rivalry always puts people in the seat. No matter when it's done, no matter how it's done, no matter what the scenario, no matter what the angle, it always puts people in the seat. And here's the reason. It's entertaining. They know that despite how we feel about it, they know, the WWE knows, and we the fans, we know as much as we hate to admit it, that Big Show and Cena, they can work with each other. And you know, despite how people say, oh, Cena's limited in some of his abilities and shows limited in some of his abilities, no matter how much we feel the limited, <coughs> excuse me, but no matter how much we feel the limited, Big Show and Cena always put on entertaining matches. Yes, some of the matches can be shit, but some of them can be good. And... That is why, you know, we have this right now. You know, some people will say, well, maybe it's because Big Show doesn't have anything right now. No, 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 no. You see, according to a report previously before this, Show was going to supposed to, was supposed, Show was supposed to continue his rivalry with Cody. That didn't happen. Instead, Cody's going to, basically what's going on is Christian's taking that position for Big Show. So... The thing is, the thing is, you know, Big Show and Cena's rivalry, no matter how we feel about it at times, no matter how many times it's been done, in WWE's eyes, and whether we want to admit it or not, it's a moneymaker. People pay to see it. It's basically WWE's answer to Hogan and Andre. I mean, how long did WWE in the 80s, from 87 to what, 88, 89, 90, how long did they kind of have that go off and on? Huh? How long did they have that? A lot. Well, maybe not as much as Cena and Big Show, but they had it enough. <coughs> they had it enough, you know, to, to the point that people liked it. Let's take a look at Hogan and Savage. How long did they have that thing going? From 89 to 91 in WWE? Even in WCW, they had it going for a while. You know? And it's like, how many times can you play up this angle, this feud? And what about Hogan and Piper? No matter how many times that was done. I mean, even WWE resurrected it when Hogan was Mr. America. Again, how many times can you re reunite that rivalry, reunite that feud, or re yeah, reignite that feud, that rivalry, with a different angle. How many times can you do it? Well, depending on the storyline, the scenario, and all that, as many times as you want. As many times as you want. 
I mean, take a look at um, take a look at Undertaker and Kane. Though rivalry was has been reignited probably more than anything at times, and no matter what, whether Kane was masked or not masked, it was always entertaining. People loved watching it, and it was never always about the same thing. It was always different. It was always a different storyline. It was always a different scenario. You see, the point I'm trying to get across is this. No matter how much we may despise the idea that we're going to have to go through Cena and show again, probably throughout the summer, it's being done for a reason. Because one, it puts people in the seat, and it's a rivalry people WWE knows, and the fans themselves they know, know they will enjoy. Yeah, it's a rivalry that's been off and on for the past eight to nine years, but you can't, it's basically like, why stop something, why finish something when you know it's still got potential? <coughs> I mean, look at, a, look at Cena and Orton. Yeah, that rivalry may not have been that much, but hey, what, one or two, three times, it was, about, it was a different situation. And people loved it because it was a rivalry they can get into. See, the point I'm trying to get folks, I'm trying to get at folks is this. We may not like it, but we know right now it's the best thing for John Cena and the Big Show. One, it gets Big Show back into the main event scene so that whether he goes back to being a face later on or not, at least it makes him a viable contender for the WWE or world title again. Two, for John, it just gives him time before the WWE decides whether or not they want to put the belt back on him or whether or not they're going to bring somebody else into the picture or whether or not they're going to put Leonidas back into the ring with him for like one more match. And basically it's also to kill time till maybe we get to July 23rd when the three hour uh, Raw officially begins and the interaction with the fans begins. Because think about it. Interaction with the fans. How many fans are not going to vote for John Cena? Are not going to want to see John Cena and Laronidas one more time? And this time, with Laronidas leaving if he loses. No strings or anything pulled. I mean, how many times... I mean, how many fans are not going to want to see that? The truth is, folks, no matter... So the truth is, folks, it's also around, it also centers around that, too. <laughs> Now, how long will this whole thing go with show? Well, maybe No Way Out, Money in the Bank, maybe SummerSlam, we're not really sure. <coughs> but you got to look at it this way. It's either WWE puts John Cena in a situation with someone like The Big Show, or whether you like it, or whether they do something that many fans don't want to see, and they find a way, and that's find a way to put the belt back on Cena. You make your choice. You take your choice. You make your pick. I mean, I know the thing, I mean, again, I know I'm repeating myself, but I know we, some of us may not like it, but it's right now, it's the best thing going for John Cena and the big show, because they can work with each other, and they know each other, and just like the examples I show, I, I mentioned, you know, Taker, Kane, Orton and Cena, you know, even in separate organizations, Hogan Savage, Hogan Flair. Savage flair. You know, it's like how many times can you do that and not be diff and not have a different situation, not have a different angle, a different storyline centered around it, a different scenario. I mean heck, take a look at one of the greatest rob two of the greatest robberies in wrestling in history. Austin and Rock. Hart and Michael. How many times can you not work around that with a different scenario? Huh? How many times can you not work around with something like that? I mean, heck, you even had Triple H Big Show a few times. Again, the point is, no matter how many times it's done, uh, no, right? no matter how many times it's done, it's always going to be fresh. It's always going to find a way to refresh itself 
with a different angle or storyline and scenario to play off of. So that is why Cena and Sho are doing what they're doing. Yes, it may be because they felt WWE felt Tenzai wasn't ready. Okay, that's true. But the truth is, whether Tenzai was ready or not, we don't know if they would have gone with this or not. But the point I'm trying to make is no matter how many times it's done, if a rivalry is good, you could still renew it, and you can renew it and refresh it around a different storyline and scenario. And that is why, and this is my reasoning for it, that is why Big Show and Cena are happening again. Because... It's a rivalry people that it's a rivalry in a feud that people will enjoy and watch whether they admit it or not. They will buy a ticket and go see. And and it's centered and it's refreshing and it's refreshed itself once again because it's not the same storyline as before. It's a different storyline and scenario. So you know, that's all I'm going to say about that. And, you know, I, and I understand, I know some people will say, well, Brian, Big Show went on SmackDown and Raw and said he doesn't care anymore. He said that before. Yeah, all people that, all faces that turn heel, they say that. And then when they turn face again, they find a way to explain their actions. Or they're like, you know what? I shouldn't have said what I did. Or they just forget about it. You see what I'm saying? But the point is, like I'm saying, in closing... It's a feud and a rivalry that will put people in the seats. People will pay a ticket to watch. People will actually tune into Raw, maybe SmackDown to watch, and maybe even order the pay-per-views to watch because they know it's a rivalry and a feud they can enjoy and because they know it's a refreshing start to this rivalry, a refreshing restart to the rivalry and feud because it's centered around a different storyline and scenario. So that is why Big Show... And John Cena are happening again, in my opinion. But what are your opinions? Tell me what you guys think. Do you do you agree with what I said, or do you feel it's different? Do you think it's a different reason? Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And I'll talk to you all later.